Hey guys, we're watching more of OG South Park. If you guys want us to watch more OG South Park episodes, then you better get this dang dong video over there. I am uh, 14,000 likes. And if you want to hear our full commentaries and also get access to a bunch of extra content, then you can do so over on our Patreon. And subscribe so you don't miss the next South Park video. Yeah, oh like my god, Jesus. Scary episode. Christ. This is the seventh episode they're really doing like a new theme. That is too big of a satellite, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god! They killed Kenny! Bro, they just crushed the PNG! Look at the PNG! They just smushed that shit. Let's get him to the morgue. Body bag. I wish the fucking medical industry was that fucking quick. That was two seconds they grabbed him, dude. Well, that's how fast they are in America when they rush over. They get $1,000 bonus for picking you up. Yeah, there's like eight ambulances coming to your house trying to pick you up. Marty, do you have to put that stuff on everything? Worcestershire sauce? That's it? Oh my god. <laughs> no way, bro. A boy made of pure Worcester. Wait, he's alive! Ah! God damn, that little turd bit me! This is even before zombies were like overrun in media, dude. So what you're saying is that South Park invented zombies? Wendy said that first prize is two tons of candy. Wow, cool! <laughs> <laughs> no way. This fits him so well, dude. What kind of costume is that? It's Adolf Hitler costume. My mom made it. Isn't it cute? Your mom made, dude. You have to admit that the craftsmanship on it is rather impressive. Oh no, you mean? Yeah, I'm afraid the two of you have pink eye. No, pink eye. <laughs> Hello, children. Hey, Chef. Kick Batowski. I love Kick Batowski. I can't believe they're referencing it. Comment down below if you want us to watch Kick Batowski, and we won't watch it. In before we get the comments being like, um, actually, that's actually Evil Knievel. These guys are so young, they don't even know who Evil Knievel is. They're fucking stupid and five years old. Yig, hi, yig, hi. Shh. God bless America. Why did she say that after that? We're not supposed to say that out loud, Cartman. No, you bit my arm. Oh, good. Kenny's back to normal. <laughs> why does why does he sound like that? It's all radioactive looking. Hitler was a very, very naughty man. <laughs> He's smiling. He loves him. Literally, what do you do if you're a teacher and you show like a video like this in class and there's a kid smiling? It's like that hypothetical of like, if you could time travel, would you kill baby Hitler? Would you kill season one Cartman? Yes. I would fucking rip his paper animation to shreds, dude. How about we make you a nice scary ghost costume? I don't want to be a stupid scary ghost. Yo, oh, that's my like God. such a cute ghost. Ghost is better. Chat, do you actually not know what <laughs> the joke is? In other news, a pink eye epidemic is now sweeping the town of South Park. Oh my god, look at Chef's fucking throne, dude. I didn't want all that sweet stuff. I gave it away to hungry children in Nairobi. Fuck you. Wendy is woke in this episode. Ah! Dude, Kitty. I like how they're just mildly pissed off. They're like, bro, she was about to give us candy, man. Nice going, Kenny. She was about to give us candy. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to do something about the living dead. You mean Tina Yothers? I don't get it. I, I don't get, get it. it. And in these early episodes, they're like, yeah, well, let's reference a celebrity that no one knows. What are you talking about, Chef? Zombies, children. South Park is overrun with the living dead. We need a black light in Chef's house. I don't think children are allowed in here. He's probably banged like a thousand women on that couch. You know, Chef's house has a striking resemblance to Quagmire's place. It's like Quagmire if he was a good person. <laughs> That's what Chef's character is. Why does the light have to be black, Jack? Can you <laughs> shut the fuck up? Because that's what it's called. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Okay, Chef, dial the hotline number. I like how the zombie reacted in pain. He was, ow, oh, jeez. No need to go full force, bro. Relax. Even when I'm dead, my body might get cold, but it's always hot in my bed. <laughs> this is an awesome He's parody. A sick zombie. He kind of looks like a sexy muscle man now. There's a bunch of zombies here. Please hold. This is awesome. Fuck Left 4 Dead. I want to play the South Park zombie game. This is literally Chainsaw Man episode one, bro. Chainsaw Man, if it was good. If Chainsaw Man was more popular, it would have gotten a South Park episode, okay? The regular source, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you do not just go out and start decapitating zombies left and right. Do you understand? Wait, so did all the zombies that Stan just killed, like, do they canonically die? Once you kill the original zombie, all the other zombies will turn back to normal. Holy shit. He did not have to do it that like that. That was brutal. He went top down. Yeah, that's the most brutal way you could cut someone in half. I'm sorry, I wish you were dead. Maybe we could actually kiss tonight. Oh, he's gonna vomit on her. Wholesome. Bleh. Vomit. Barf is gross. 
facts. I would agree with that. She's spitting. Dude, it's way more like Chainsaw Man than I thought it was, bro. What's Halloween about? Costumes and candy. Oh. <laughs> well, let's get home starting that candy. What, what was that cut? <laughs> Holy shit. That was crazy. Bro, I feel like they just edited out part of, like, did I miss a part of the episode? <laughs> Would you boys like some cheesy poops? Why is she gonna stand right in front of the fucking TV? That is true though. Like normally I'm on her side, but like directly in front of the TV. Let's be real here. She's on the fucking like Nintendogs on the Smash stage blocking the view. Coming up next on the Terrence and Philip Thanksgiving special. Wait, so we had the Halloween special. Now we're having a Thanksgiving special. Did they really only get to have like one episode a month in this show or something? Here in the heart of Africa, children are dying. Not from disease or war, but from hunger. I'm Sally Struthers. <laughs> <laughs> Is she eating the children? I actually think that's going to be the joke. I think she's going to be eating the children. Sponsor now, and we'll also send you this Taco Digital Sports Watch as a free gift. <laughs> Just buy the fucking watch. We want to adopt a starving Ethernopian. When do we get the sports watch? Just a second, fat ass. Isn't it crazy that, like, you used to have to call to buy something off the TV? It's fucking weird, bro. I'm just saying, it's like, no one does that anymore. Like, only old people who don't know how to use the internet do that. Like, it's just such a different time. It's, yeah. it's kind of crazy to think about. A canned food drive is when we collect canned food for poor people who can't afford to eat on Thanksgiving. You mean like Kenny? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Freebird, the turkeys are getting off the menu this year, bro. They went back in time. I was trying to genetically engineer turkeys for Thanksgiving. Uh-huh. You know, to provide food for the needy. I forgot about these characters. Why is that guy so small? Because that's his little guy, bro. But why is he so small? He looks like he has like a really funny Mexican accent, but like he's not allowed to speak in the show. He looks like he chopped off his left and grew it into another person. <laughs> yeah, he did. He put, he like blew it up like a balloon and like put arms and legs on it. The Oh my god. What's your name, dude? Marvin. I think he said his name is Marvin. Yeah, Starvin' Marvin. <laughs> Mar Starvin' Marvin. No That's fucking wild. Way. Don't give him cookies, bro. He might, like, he'll have a sugar overdose. He hasn't eaten food in, like, a week. Let's bring him to school tomorrow. Come on, Starvin' Marvin. Give him some food. Yeah, yeah. He's my son. I adopted him. I'm surprised how, like, protective Cartman is of this guy. I thought he was racist as fuck. Maybe he really is just into Hitler for the aesthetic. Oh, darling, look. Thanksgiving turkeys. Oh, they're so beautiful. Did he crossbreed turkeys with Canadian geese? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, they just ate them. Is he starving, Marvin? These are what we call appetizers. Feed him the food. Is he gonna let him eat? Oh, food's here, that's it for the appetizers. Oh, oh he's never gonna eat. Oh my god. This is so fucked up. This is the time of year you're supposed to share. Are you gonna eat all of your peach cobbler? No, you don't want all that. Marvin. <laughs> Carvin actually hits a new low. This is like a rich person dangling like his fucking Lambo keys in front of a homeless person. Like, what is this? That was just something I did yesterday. I just wanted an example. Please bring in more diverse food, children, or else Kenny's family is going to have a pretty corny Thanksgiving. I wish I could teleport in some of these shows, like teleport into the South Park style and, and get a gun and shoot Mr. Garrison. <laughs> for some jokes. I want to shove an ear of corn up his ass. No, Stavin Marvin, that's Kenny's cream corn. This is so fucked He's up. He's starving! It was accidentally delivered to us instead of a sports watch. The sports watch from the commercial? Yeah, that one. I want a Starving Marvin. I want a Starving Marvin. It's like the new Pokemon oh, card trend. No. Like they're re They brought their oh. Starving Marvin to school, and now all the other kids want one. They're just reinventing slavery. No, that's Pal. You're thinking Pal World. Can they make a Pal World episode? Like, I would love South Park if they made a Pal World episode. They're working on the 45-minute special right now. It'll be, it'll be done in a month when it isn't funny anymore. Eight-year-olds can't be parents. Then you take care of them. I can't. I, um... I'm very busy. Oh, well, back to the poor country with you. Carvin got bored of starving Mar Marvin. Starving Martian so quickly. We're looking for a starving African child who was accidentally sent here instead of a Taco sports watch. Oh, yes! oh my. This is awesome. <laughs> it's good when Cartman's a punching bag. The show's funnier when he gets his what he deserves. Those turkeys just ripped apart my cafeteria. Whoa, you won't get away with this, you bastards. Wow, those are some pissed off turkeys. Do you think Starvin' Marvin's gonna like Terrence and Phillip? Well, Terrence and Phillip are Canadian, so this is not a good representation of what Canada did to the indigenous people. Yeah, when I was in a hit, when I was in school, I learned that the Canadians were very, very nice to the Indians, and they never had any problems with them. Hunger is an enemy that we all must fight. 
these children desperately need your support. It's literally like those stick fight videos. They literally look like the stick fight videos like on YouTube. Oh my god, Carmen's on the TV. Are they streaming these commercials live? What the? Is he gonna get malaria in Ethiopia? I hope Carmen dies in this episode. Sorry, dude. We just don't have any funds. Here, have a Tyco Sports Watch. Dude, the Tyco Sports Watch, that's not gonna fit around his fat fucking wrist. Today, you fight for your city. These turkeys will continue to push. Is this Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On, playing in the background? Yeah, this is just like the Great Emu War in Australia, and they fucking lost. So South Park is gonna get eaten by turkeys. Yeah, but like emus are like S tier and turkeys are like B tier. They're having the same reference. The turkey Braveheart reference, but he died his entire body. That's awesome. My God has forsaken me. Dude, is Carmen gonna die? I hope Carmen dies in this episode. I wonder what's in here. Cheesy poofs, boogie bars. Oh my God, it's a mirage. Is it a mirage? Yeah, it's definitely a mirage. He's not seeing this shit. Oh no. my God, no, it's not. No, this is my cake. This is actually insane. Cause I guarantee you if I Google Sally Struthers, she probably isn't even that fast. Sally Struthers is holding food from us. Oh my God. Oh, she's eating so fast, dude. There's multiple wars going on right now. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> They're gonna eat yes! her. We wish we're just watching all the... Well, first of all, now we can say we can watch the South Park Christmas special because that would get more views. But also, we watch a Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. A, lo a lot of sitcoms do that, though, like every year. I can see its head! Uh, uh. What? This is such a... Whoa! Oh, they have a fetus doll? What? Why is Jesus looking like one of the California raisins? Mom is here to ruin Christmas. Shut up, fat boy! I'm not fat! I'm festively plump. <laughs> That's wholesome. That was wholesome. That's funny, though, because, like, you would expect South Park to be a show that would make fun of fat people, like the last episode we just watched. But no, it's <laughs> actually really progressive. Christmas poo? What the hell is Christmas poo? Mr. Hanky the Christmas poo. Haven't you guys ever heard of it? The Christmas poo. Is that, like, when you, like, hold in your shit from Thanksgiving and you save it for Christmas? It's been in you for so long. It's basically been in your womb. So that you can, like, get the experience of a virgin birth, just like Mary. Try Snowflakes on your tongue. It's fun. There's something really wholesome about this. <laughs> no! <laughs> There's something really wholesome about no! this in before Kenny literally no! eats dog shit. That actually hurt my soul. Mr. Hanky, he comes out of the toilet every year and gives presents to everybody who has a lot of fiber in their diet. <laughs> Yeah, I just realized this is literally just like a riff on Linus with the Great Pumpkin. No idea what that is. What does that mean? From Peanuts. Well, obviously, Core knows what that is, bro. It's Peanuts, like one of the biggest fucking comics media franchises of all time. Linus from Linus Tech Tips, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> He's still got the blankie, bro. He's still got the blankie. I'm a Jew. A lonely Jew. A lonely Jew. This one hit. This one probably hit for Jewish kids. Like this, I might cry. If I was Jewish and I watched this, I might be crying right now. You could see the Book of Mormon right from episode eight of the nine of the show, bro. Can you believe that this made it to a kids bop album? Maddie B. Raps probably does the rap part. The school play is doing an activity scene. It isn't being sensitive to the Jewish community. Shut the fuck up. If you want a Jewish fucking like play then, then make a Jewish like, Santa. We need a Jewish Santa that's equivalent. Perhaps we need a new icon for Christmas. Like, so Santa, Santa's chill because he's all about that capitalism low-key and we all know that. But Jesus, Jesus isn't about capitalism, he's about religion. The Christmas poo, he loves me and I love you. Therefore, if I carry he loves you, even don't mind him. He's a very disturbed little boy. Having Cartman say that is very appropriate. Irony. I'll put together a crack team of my best workers to make sure this will be the most non-offensive Christmas ever. Put a crack team of my best crackheads, Jack, Corn and Eden, on the case. Why did we call the channel Spilling the Milk? We should have called it Snorting the Coke. Ooh, that would have <laughs> been good. That's actually really good. Should we all take a hit right now? Yep. There's no such thing as Mr. Hanky. Again. There is no such thing as Mr. Hanky. This is for your own good, Bubby. Bubby. Why does she stand b directly behind him like that? She's puppeting him. It isn't fair. I don't want to be an outcast. Ah. Oh my God, Mr. Hanky. The Christmas poo, bro. The Christmas poo is real. Howdy ho! Oh my ew, God, the shit ew. all over the counter. Do you think like this is a hallucination that Kyle has and he just plays around with his poo? Look, if... Cowley can be real. Mr. Hanky the Christmas poo can be real. Ew, ew, oh ew, my ew, God. ew, ew. Isn't this just what your school bathroom looked like, Eden? Kyle! Say something, Mr. Hanky. No way. Howdy ho. Mr. Hanky is a fucking demon on his life, dude. Hey, how about you come to school with me? 
me tomorrow so I can at least prove I'm not crazy to my friends. Oh my god, he's gonna bring this shit. This is scary. Oh my. This is so scary. This is not. I don't want to see. This is embarrassing. Okay, children, I'm really having a hard time with our Christmas play. The new law states we can't sing any songs having to do with Jesus or Santa Claus. Or Santa Claus? Santa isn't religious, though. How about we sing? Cause mom is a stupid bitch in D minor. Oh, this is the song for the movie. Big fat she's the biggest in the whole wide world. She's a stupid bitch. If there ever was a she's a bitch to all the boys and girls. Yay. I like this song. Gross, Kyle. Oh my lord, Kyle, did you just throw Dodo at Eric? He just sang a fucking song about how his mom is a bitch. I feel like there's there's literally no situation in which throwing fecal matter it, it makes sense. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Maybe he was letting his inner monkey out, bro. Let him throw his shit. Now, I also understand that you're Jewish. Is that right, Kyle? Well, not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about this man's proportions right here, dude? He, he looks like mm. Baldi's fucking basics out here, dog. <gasps> Oh my god, you sick little monkey. I told you he was a monkey, dude. This is such a weird episode. And the fact that this is their Christmas special, so this probably aired annually for like at least 15 years or something like that. What? Why is there a puddle of water? No. Wait, they're gonna kill Kenny? No, they're trying to trip us up. They keep doing it. The joke is that we think they're gonna kill Kenny a certain way, and then it happens fucking randomly in the episode. They keep doing it. Good, it looks like they've taken the Christmas trees down. Yes, and there's nothing Christian either. This should be great. This is so weird because the culture around this issue has completely flipped around on itself. People are literally angry for the opposite reason in the modern day. It's it's actually fascinating, this episode, when you think about it. Kenny, would you please climb that ladder and take down the star above the stage? And be careful not to fall in that little pool below you, Kenny. Oh my god, Kenny's gonna fucking die. Oh my god. Baby, I'm gonna deck your halls and silent your night. Oh! That was kind of bars. Jeff is like the best part of every episode. What the hell is this? This is horrible! Now, I feel so bad. That, like, the South Park students, like, actually, t like, tried. And the fucking parents are, like, four seconds in and they're just screaming out. Oh, my God. I imagine this is how the Rite of Spring went, Core. It was too innovative. They weren't ready for the show. Christmas poo? You, you mean Mr. Hanky? Chef sees it too. Of course Chef would know. There's nothing to do. Well, maybe this will help. Mr. Mr. Hanky. Hanky! That's right, kids. Now you can make your very own Mr. Hanky. Oh, God! <laughs> I made a mariachi, Mr. Hanky. Now it's a Mrs. Hanky. Let's put the fez hat on him! <laughs> <laughs> this oh is so amazing. God. What the fuck? Don't you see? This is the one time of year we're supposed to forget all the bad stuff. Stop worrying and buy things. You think they're selling the Mr. Hanky for real? Make your own, bro. Oh, shit. I guess I could. I know what I'm doing after this recording shit. Merry Christmas! Goodbye, Mr. Hanky. Bring me lots of presents. So is Mr. Hanky just... He's just Santa's shit. Santa's shit out that poo and it came to life i mean i guess we're skipping a little bit but we have established that poo can canonically come to life in the south park universe something feels unfinished what could it be but kenny didn't die in this episode no they're gonna kill him they're gonna kill him they're gonna kill him at the last second here happy birthday to me oh well that's just sad they didn't even kill kenny that was just sad i think it's hard for santa to get to every like town so maybe he throws his shit at the shitty towns like south park to give them the presents and if you want mr hanky to come to your house this christmas like the video and check out our patreon Thank you for watching. Thanks to Aeromir, Alzheimer's is a bad disease, we should cure it. Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Calm Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal X Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, g 3 Om, Gov, Stargazer, Gioni Snare, Yorison, Helio, Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Mirak55, Native5, Omega Waffles by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.